Hey everyone, I thought we could talk about my trailer modification. I think I have it pretty much wrapped up, so let's talk about it. As you know, I found these ra Yakima racks for free, and what I've been trying to do is rig this thing up so I can carry my 17 foot canoe. Uh, or in the future, I'd like to get a little John boat because I think that. Uh, I think that the uh, trolling motor would push that pretty well, and most of those that you can find for you know a hundred bucks, they uh, they don't ever come with a trailer or anything. But uh, so I got these bolted on there. Um, the only little modification I'm going to do is I'm going to cut. Let me show you here. There's a bracket in here. I was trying to get this out. I think I'll cut this pin and slide this pin out and then get this metal piece off of here um, because there's a bolt back behind here that pushes pressure up on the post on this horizontal post and with that bracket gone I can just loosen that up and slide the back bar out I don't think I'll have to remove the front bar like ever with the back bar I'm gonna have to remove to get like a lawnmower on there or in the future I want to get a uh, um, four-wheeler or golf cart or something so yeah we just gotta make that slight little modification um, and then the other larger modification was the uh, hinge pins so how these work you can see my nice little goober weld there. That's Harbor Freight special. But uh, how it works is this is just a piece of tubing. And this is just a solid, like, one inch that's milled down to probably three quarter. And then they drilled a hole in it and put this little grease fitting in there. And the, the grease, when you pressure it, it squirts out on the side, which is nice. Keeps them from rusting up. But, uh, all, but when I bought it, um, they slide off this way right now but when I bought it this one was facing inward and that one is also facing inward the the way that grease fitting fitting is is how it would slide off so they're both facing each other and you couldn't get this gate off so I cut off this piece the pin piece and it was originally sitting over here facing that way I just 180 it put it here facing that way and um, that way, uh, when you want the gate off, you just undo the side pins. And it is it is heavy, but it's manageable. And you just uh, slot, you know, kick it out a little bit and slide it, and it slides off of there so that the back of this is free. And honestly, you could probably leave it like that if you had like a four wheeler that you like to tote around. You could probably leave that back gate off because this trailer here isn't too terribly tall off the ground but uh, so that makes it nice you can just slide the gate off throw on a canoe or whatever and away you go I wanted to make it so that the gate fo folded forward which it which it already does but these brackets would hit the gate and then I thought well maybe I can put it so it lays back flat but when I when you hook a chain up to it to do that, um, there's if the walls were higher you could. But being that they're so low, and that chain or whatever you'd use to connect it is at such an angle, there's really no no tension stopping it from just like hitting the ground. And being that this trailer is so low anyways, having it stick out that far off the back, you'd scrape on, you know, going out of a gas station or whatever, you'd probably scrape the gate on the ground. So. This way just works a lot better, um, I, I think. Uh, my main concern was this is two inches right here, and I was really worried that as this thing goes down the road, it's going to wiggle and it's going to fall off. But um, although there's two inches worth of space, one inch on this side and one inch on that side, it can slide over, but not all the way. So I'm interested to see how much this moves around. Um, if it does, you know, a person might have to clean the pins off every so often. 
Uh, but if you pump it full of grease, it might have enough tension to just kind of stay put. If it doesn't, I'll have to stack a couple pieces of steel in here to kind of eat up that gap. Um, obviously weld it to the gate side so it doesn't interfere with the width on the trailer. But, yeah, that was kind of my solution for that. Um, like I said, this gate's relatively heavy. It's probably 50 or 75 pounds. So, I guess if you had a hard time lifting that, you could rig something up in like the garage to the ceiling or you'd hook it on here with a bungee cord and then you could just pull it off. But it, it it's going to work good enough for what I need it for. Um, yeah, so... That is my solution to that. Anyways, guys, that's really all I got. So thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.